Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I'll show you a 10 minute routine to do belly button healing. If you're not familiar with belly button healing, I made another video that kind of explains it in more detail. So I'll drop the link in the description below. Make sure you check out that video so you get a more in-depth understanding about belly button healing. In this video, I'm gonna do just a straight up 10 minute routine of just doing belly button healing. Some of you on this channel might have already been familiar with belly button healing, but now you're wondering how to do it exactly or what kind of routine you can do to practice every day for the benefits of belly button healing. In a nutshell, belly button healing is done with this tool right here called the belly button healing wand. If you don't have this tool, you can use your fingers as well. But I really recommend this tool because this tool is the best way to deeply massage your intestines, which is the main point of belly button healing. A lot of the times we carry tension in our intestines and we have no idea how much tension we have here. So things that can cause a lot of tension in the gut are poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, and most of all, stress. So maybe you exercise a lot, maybe you eat all organic food, but you still have some digestive issues. Then you have to check the amount of stress in your body, which is directly linked to the condition of your gut. So let's get started. If you have a belly button healing tool, Grab the wand, place it on your belly button. If you don't have this tool, get your index and middle fingers, put them together, roll your fingers in so you have a little pointed tip with your fingers. So place this inside of your belly button and then your fingers inside of your belly button. Relax your shoulders, drop your shoulders, not like this, drop your shoulders, relax your abdomen, Close your eyes and gently push in and out. Like you're doing soft CPR for your gut. Close your eyes and simply listen to this guidance of my voice. I'm doing the same movement so you don't have to look. If you have the movement down, close your eyes. Feel the sensation in your lower belly. Did you know that in your intestines, you have something called the vagus nerve? The vagus nerve is a nerve that connects your intestines directly to your brain. And it's responsible for turning on the anti-stress response in your body. So biologically, chemically, scientifically speaking, doing this movement here activates your vagus nerve, which turns on your anti-stress response. So by turning on that anti-stress response in your body, it helps your muscles relax, not only in your gut, but also you'll feel it in your shoulders, your chest, and your brain. Keep pushing in and out, in and out, feel the stimulation and gently breathe out. If you feel some tension, if you feel some stuffiness coming to the surface, gently let it go from your body by exhaling out. Make your body as relaxed as possible. You don't need to push really deeply in. Relax, just gentle. Gentle enough so that it's like a massage. Not too deep, not too shallow. Just perfect, where it feels relaxing. Breathe. I suggest exhaling through your mouth so that whatever is coming up from the surface of your intestines, your stomach, you can let it out through your breath. When your body's relaxed, you might feel some burping. You might feel some body reactions. That's okay. Everything is reacting as a healing sign. Keep going. Breathe. Breathe.
And now by now, you might start to feel some kind of stiffness in your neck and shoulders. That is because your neck and shoulders are connected to the condition of your gut. At this time, lightly shake your head side to side, focusing on releasing tension from your neck and shoulders. Release tension from your neck and shoulders, side to side. And here too, breathe. <sighs> Through each exhale, relax your body 1% more. As you start getting into the rhythm, you might find that naturally you are pumping the wand more vigorously. Your movements are a little bit bigger. That's a good sign. It means energy is amplifying from inside of your body. Keep going. You're doing great. Now, if you aren't already doing this, try to pump a little bit deeper inside. A little bit deeper so you're stimulating more into your intestines. You may feel some tightness. You may feel some resistance from inside of your body. That's okay. Just keep breathing out, gently letting go of all heavy energy inside. If you experience burping or any other body reactions, you are doing great. Your body is in the process of releasing. Releasing. Now keep going. At this point, check your body condition compared to before. Can you feel something in your hands getting warmer? Can you feel something in your shoulders getting more relaxed, dropping down, or moving? Can you feel something in your abdomen that's more loose than before, able to go deeper inside of your gut? If your hands feel warm, it's because your blood from your gut has been pumped to your extremities. This is a great sign of blood and energy circulation. When your hands and feet are chronically cold, it's because your blood is stagnant in your intestines and not pumping to where they should be. Let's go for 30 more seconds. Shake your head a little bit more, pump a little bit deeper, give it all you've got for the last 30 seconds. Breathe. <sighs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, stop. Close your eyes, keep your eyes closed. Keep your wand in your belly button. Feel your body. Can you feel a tingling sensation flowing in your body now? A very subtle electric sensation flowing from the top of your head all the way down to your hands, fingertips, legs, and toes. Now gently open your eyes. If you feel the tingling, if you feel the warmth, it's because one third of your entire body's blood supply is housed in the gut. So pumping the blood like this is a great way to quickly circulate the blood, energy, toxin removal, the lymphs, all in your gut in one easy exercise. So if you don't have this wand, I'll place the link in the description below how you can get one. This is the best way to do belly button healing because if you experienced it with your fingers, you would have felt that it puts strain in your shoulders to constantly pump like this. Whereas if you have this tool, it's very convenient to hold and do belly button healing very easily for a long period of time. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.